Hey guys, this is Dog Will Fix It and we have a mobility scooter in the house. Now my dad picked this up from the charity shop for free, uh, basically because it doesn't work. Um, and he wanted it to, he, he got it for my uncle to use abroad. So um, he said to me, look, can you have a look at it, see if you can get it running? He told me that he knows that the battery's been changed and I'll run you through that in a minute, guys. So, um, so let's assume the battery's been changed. I did double check it. Um, but if we look, it's no power, no power at all, it's dead. So you can see the battery indicator and it's got a little horn here. It's got the go forwards, go backwards, um, but it's dead. So assuming that the battery is working, which I have checked and you can see the battery, this is the battery pack. Uh, and this is how you charge it. So you plug your charger in right here. The charger obviously comes with it. Uh, we've got the seat, motors in the back here. Um, but it's dead. So I went through all sorts of checks. Um, I've never messed around with one of these before, but it's not rocket science. You've seen the stuff that we've done on this channel before. So it can't be that bad, right? It can't be that bad. So we're going to give it a shot. Um, and I'll run you through exactly what the issue is eventually once um, once we get down to the nitty gritty. Okay, so let's let's get down. Okay, so I've taken the seat off, sit over there on the floor, um, and this is the battery pack. So you can actually just pull this out, and you can see it's got a few connectors right here and here. I checked those over; they seem okay. The batteries are sitting in here. It's 24 volts. There's two 12 volt batteries, one in here, one here. Um, and you can actually buy them off eBay like 40 odd quid um, but I've been told that they've been changed so and I'd actually have opened up this case um, you can get there's a, the screws underneath around the rims screws around here so when you pop this out there's all screws just under here open out the case comes out the top comes off um, and I tested it the battery is fine as expected as I was told so then I turned my attention to this bad boy um, maybe it's a faulty dial maybe it's a bad thingy um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up screw there screw there and then we'll take a look at we'll start with this and we'll take a look at where we're at yeah okay so let's give that a shot all right guys so we've got, i've got the screws off and we're gonna just flip this over remember still no power still no power when i turn the key so let's have a look underneath now Trying to get a good angle on this so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so this is the key area. You can see that key there. It's a bit loose. Um, one of the wires is slightly exposed. So let's what we're gonna do is let's actually test to see if this key is getting power. So, so we're gonna do a quick test to see if the key is getting power with a little tester um, hopefully you guys can see this I got my hardware out I'm gonna fire this up and see if the actual keys get any volts okay so uh, one on there 24 volts so the keys actually getting the actual key fob or the key switch is getting power but the key is not um, Firing this up one more time. Key's not firing up at all. Um, another thing you could check is there's a actually a little fuse in here. Uh, I'm just gonna open it so you can see. If you can see that fuse, can you see that fuse in there? It's good. I've checked it already, so we know that's good. Uh, the key's getting power, so that fuse. If you look, if you look, that wire is actually coming from. One of the key wires is from that fuse and it's fully powered, so so it's not the fuse. There's also a fuse in the battery that you could check. It's like one of those car fuses. So something's wrong here. So what we could do is let's hot wire this. If we run a little hot wire and just see, just a wire to bypass the actual key, the key barrel. And if it starts up, then we know the key fault, the actual uh, key's dodgy. Uh, this barrel's dodgy and we can get a replacement. So, um... Let's hot wire it. I've got a little wire here. It's 
Let's lit up. See that? There. You can see that little white thing is lit up. That means it's probably powering up. Okay. So the switch is bad. So what we need to do is get this switch off. So unscrew it from the back here. It's already a bit loose. Done. Done. Okay. So you can see it's soldered on. Let's just strip this one back. So you can get. So we need to get hold of one of these or a new host, the whole unit, including the key. Um, the whole thing, the, hard, the hardest part is to make sure it's the right size to fit in this, even if it's not as long or short. As long as it fits in here, we're okay. So um, let me find, let me see if I can get hold of one and I'll be back in a bit. All right, people, here we go. Got a brand new one off eBay, cost a couple of quid. I think it was like three, four quid, five quid. There's loads of different ones, just the size needs to kind of match in terms of the barrel, in terms of the barrel, I guess. It's not the same kind of key. It's slightly longer. Um, the only thing I don't like about this, which I didn't, you can't tell from eBay, right? Is, you know, you push it in, do that. So it's on, push it in. It doesn't, it doesn't actually hold the key in. I want it to hold the key in like the other one was, but it doesn't do that, but it's all good. So we, what we need to do is unsolder that. So did this one on, and I'm hoping that that does the trick. This. All right, so I've got the key off. The old one's off. Here it is. Okay. And what we're going to do is, before we solder the new one, and we'll just quickly test it. So I've got it here. Um, so the battery's in, so let's just not... So I'm assuming if I touch these two, they'll fire up. So that's on. If I hit the horn. Yep, so it's powered up. Little hot wire in there. So if you didn't want to use the key, you could just hot wire it. But the thing is, the thing is on all the time. So what you want to do is just check. Check. So I can see, look, it's on. Right? So it's on. Now if I... Hopefully be able to turn this off. Wow. Oh, do you see the lights? On. Off. On. Off. On. Smashed it. So it was the key fob. So what we're going to do is solder this up, put this back together, and this bad boy should be up and running, right? Okay, so we'll get that going now. I'm going to solder this back. Uh, just make sure you get the rings and everything that came with it or that was already on there. Put them through the wires on the inside first before you solder the key um, barrel back on, the key switch. So I actually searched for the word key uh, switch or key barrel. Uh, I think it was key switch on eBay and a whole lot of these came up. No problems. Actually make sure the, the nut goes on first. So you got to get this right, otherwise you'll end up soldering and then realise you can't get this back on. And I made that mistake just now. I'm probably going to edit it out, maybe. Probably won't. We'll see. Let's see how it looks okay. All right. Okay, so the solder's on. The battery's back in, so we'll do a quick test. Lights are on. <coughs> Wait. Bring it back. It's powered up. That's the reverse, reverse beep. So what we want to do is turn it back off. <clears throat> get the key in secured. Get the key barrel secured. So <clears throat> remember all of this that we did. Let's get it back into position. So the key barrel doesn't move around too much. Then we'll just put these covers over to give it some protection. We really need to melt some new ones and uh, make some new ones. What I might do is just cover it with a little tape just to keep it sorted, but I'll do that later. 
and that's it keys in position now we're back up now we're powered back up beeps working can you hear that how about that we're back in business <laughs> so there you go bro there you go just a switch change it wasn't too complicated the hardest part was figuring out what exactly was wrong as i said the battery was the battery was pretty new um, but I did open it up to double check all the wires and everything were not shorted out or disconnected um, And then I turned my attention to this panel First thing I tested was the switch. The switch was getting power. So uh, If the switch is getting power, then maybe something's wrong with the actual switch or the key the key switch and uh, Then I tested it It was getting power. I hot wired it. It fired up the whole thing Swapped the key out for a new one for a new barrel and Bob's your uncle. Well, maybe he's not. There you go. We're back in business. Thanks for watching. Hit up the video. Like the video. Um, I burnt my fingers making this video. Obviously, I wasn't very safety conscious, but you've got to be ever, ever so careful. Make sure the battery is disconnected when you're doing this. If you're working with a soldering iron, be super careful with it. It's hot. I used it on my left hand. So I'm right-handed, so I used it on my left hand to try and get the right camera angle, and it didn't work. Uh, but I'm okay. All good. Not not too bad. Worth the video anyway. Please sub the channel, like the video, and catch us in the next one. There's a couple more follow-up videos to this just to show you a few things uh, that I discovered while uh, messing around with this. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.